gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional. Today we happen to be in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 14, which reads this way. The beginning of strife is like letting water out. So quit before the quarrel breaks out. Love this one. So given the tension in the world today, these words have some very real-time application. Just consider what's happening between Russia and Ukraine and China and Taiwan, and then reread the proverb again. It suggests that the pressure of strife is a lot like pressure that builds behind a dam of water. You can dam up the flow of water for a while, but when the barrier develops a slight weakness resulting in a crack, the water pressure behind this tiny crack is immense. Eventually, it will produce enough force that the flow will be unstoppable. And so strife works exactly the same way. The lesson is we must address the issue of strife before the weakness is exposed. And a crack gives way to even a tiny flow of strife because it will become an unstoppable flow. It becomes an unstoppable conflict. So we can watch the news today and we can see the saga develop in these countries, but we all know the unfortunate fate of the weaker countries. The flow of strife is unstoppable. And fellas, sin produces strife, doesn't it? The sin and selfishness in us is what produces strife between us and others. The vivid images of what we see on the news illustrate what is produced by the sin and selfishness in our hearts. Sin and its strife seeks to divide, conquer, and destroy. And it's a hideous sight, isn't it? It's a hideous sight. So today, as you listen and watch the sad saga develop in these far off countries, be reminded that a dam of hostility and sin brought all this on. One that turned one man against another. And remember, there is only one it's Jesus, who can bring peace to a sinful and selfish man's heart. Just listen to Ephesians 2.14. It's a beautiful verse. It reads, For he, Jesus, himself, is our peace, who has made both one in us and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility. The only one who can bring peace to this world is Jesus Christ because he's the only one who can destroy the wall of hostility within us. Fellas, I hope you enjoyed this devotional day. If you have, do me a favor, share it with someone you know. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Leave a comment for me below, by the way, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.